What's up, YouTube? It's your boy JP's on the keys and it's too easy. We're back with the video today. Um, y'all really liked that Al Murray video I did the last time, so you know what I'm saying? Why not give y'all what y'all like? This is the Al Murray name of country. We have defeated them. Without further ado, uh, leave a like on the video. Also, hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications if you haven't already. Thank you. We have defeated every Hold on. Let me make sure. Every single fucking country in the world at war. Name a country, Gary. Germany. Germany, 1945. Thank you very much. <laughs> very I mean, yeah, that's, that's, y'all got Hitler to fuck up out of there. <laughs> Yo, I actually was reading on Hitler, bro. Like, it was, I think it was, it, it was at Berlin. And then after that, Hitler, that man, they cornered that man and he had to, he had to end himself in the bunker. Like, yo, that's crazy. Just think about the amount of, just think about that. You've assumed absolute power of a country. You go in, you go and persecute two million Jewish people. And the, the world is on your back. It's a target on your back from the entire world. Like the amount of angst. Very recent job done twice in one century. If only they tried again around 99, we've got the fucking hat trick. <laughs> Another country, please. Argentina. Argentina, 82, no help for no one else. And that, of course, was a war not for oil, but for penguins. Because we all know <laughs> penguins are an essential ingredient in making Guinness, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> you boil them up, the white stuff floats to the top, job done. Another <laughs> country, please. Another one, France, thank you. We're in 1815 Waterloo, we haven't heard from them since. Yeah, another one, please. Mm. Canada. Canada, yeah, Canada used to be part of the British Empire, which means they're an ally of ours, as you know, being an ally of ours counts as losing to us. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. You can basically count the whole South, Southeastern United States if that's, a, if that's the case, because, you know, the Louisiana Purchase, <laughs> that, that, was, that was British territory. <laughs> Why? R really, the whole United States was British territory for real. They start before they made colonies. If we be in for real. Also, oh, the Canadians so miserable. Another one, please. Spain. Hey? Spain. Spain, 1588, Battle of the Armada. Thank you, sir. We haven't heard from them since. Another one. <laughs> Uganda. Uh, that was an African colony, of course, that at one point used to belong to the Germans. And in 1919, the League of Nations, as you know, in the Treaty of Versailles, when the world was redivided, and the African colonies were partitioned and uh, separated between France and, uh, and Great Britain. And we got Uganda as a result of simply of uh, it being defeat the Germans. We got given Uganda, which sounds like fucking winning there, without even having to go there. Result. Another one, please. Another one. Bro, literally, bro, you, it was literally like Britain owned like all of Africa at that point. <laughs> You gotta remember, Britain owned like all of Africa up until like 19, the 1940s. I think the first country was either, it was like South Africa, I forgot what, it was one of, I think one of the first countries to get independence from Britain was, I think, like the night, I forgot what country, but it was like in the, the 19, the end of the 1940s, mid 1940s. I think the last country to get independence from Britain, I still don't think. Is, I don't, this country, I still don't think is independent. It's, it's the country that keeps having the wars. The one that had a recent war like two or three years ago. I'm blanking. I'm literally blanking. It's one, it's, I think it's like one of the only countries in Africa that still is not independent. Like, the one that had the war recently. Oh my God, I forgot. Bro, hold on, let me look up. Let me look it up. Let me stop being nosy. Let me stop being lazy and look it up. Yeah, it, it was the Congo. It was the Congo. The Congo was recently, they, they recently had like, Fighting against citizens last year in the Congo. This was during all. This is during the pandemic. So yeah, definitely, it's still a struggle. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously, if you've been used to being ruled by Britain for so long, and now all of a sudden, what? We're not ruled by Britain anymore. We have to be free countries. Oh, oh okay. We we don't know who's in power. Hey, some guy rises up. Power struggle. Boom. Another one. You need to go to more pub quizzes, love. Another one, please. Hey, United States! All right, okay. You're thinking war of independence, America finds itself free of Great Britain. Yeah, they see that as a win, we see that as a lucky fucking escape. <laughs> <laughs> but let's not forget, in the war of 1812 to 1814, the Royal Navy sailed up the Potomac River, set fire to the White House, and the Americans had to whitewash it to cover up the fire damage, which is why it's called the White House. The Americans sued for peace at the end of 1814. Even though they won a battle at the end of the war, they, the war's already over, the stupid fuckers were still fighting, even though they'd already lost. And that is America, and they've been working for us ever since. Another one, please. 
Belgium, 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 of course, is a creation of the uh, series of treaties that came out at the end of the Napoleonic Wars, you know, uh, the fallout of Waterloo 1815. It was the Duchy of the Duchy of Burgundy, of course, in the Netherlands states were divided up, divided up to two buffer zones in order to prevent any one single power taking control of the Netherlands, which is, of course, our dangerous flank between Germany and France, and we don't like European hegemony of one power, and that's why Belgium and Holland were cut up to two in a buffer zone created, and I think if you create a country out of thin fucking air, you've won. Another one, please. <laughs> Yo, this man is a god. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Italy. Yeah, 1943. Bot folded early, didn't they? Another one, please. <laughs> China. But, but, China. Hey? China. China. Opium War, 1860. Another one, please. <laughs> hey? Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso used to be a German colony. I refer to my previous answer. Another one, please. <laughs> hey? Norway, they used to be the Vikings, love. We saw them off in the end, didn't we? <laughs> and look at that, that's a come down. Once they were Vikings, now look at them, Norwegians. That's a fucking collapse, isn't it? <laughs> From horny helmets to horny helmets. Another one, please. <laughs> Yo. Oh my God. <laughs> From Vikings to Norwegians. <laughs> that's a collapse. <laughs> that is a major collapse. <laughs> Japan, we got the Yanks to do it for us. Another one. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, they, they, yeah. We, we, um, America destroyed Japan, aren't they? <laughs> oh, they, they did Japan and <laughs> they dropped that. Get on them. <laughs> they dropped, they ain't dropped one. They dropped two of them things on <laughs> That's crazy. I'm not even trying to make light, but dang. They dropped, they, instead of, they didn't just drop one, they dropped two of them. Yo, Harry Truman was not playing. He said, we going, he said, he said, you know, after this, we're going to end this war, drop a nuclear bomb, boom. He said, end this. Yo, we, we're done with this. <laughs> Peru? What language do they speak in Peru, sir? Portuguese. Portuguese. No, they don't, actually. They speak Spanish. Yeah, which means in 1512, when Pope Judas XII divided the New World into two lines, two sections down the line of longitude 129, the stuff of the east of that went to Portugal, which is why they speak Portuguese in Brazil, the stuff of the west of that went to Spain, which means Peru was technically part of Spain when we defeated Spain in 1598, back in the Armada, so we done Peru without having had a visit. <laughs> Job done. <laughs> Can't argue with it. First, yo, that's, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> Just the fact that he knows off that, all that off the top of his head, the, the, the sea. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's good to always know like history stuff. It's always good. To, it's always good to look back and see like I've like I've always seen like the like the history of the African countries and how all these countries won independence slowly, slowly throughout the 20th century. Even though there's still conflict in Africa to this day, but you know it's just a lot of history is crazy, man. I, I like watching these videos because this not just it's not just a spin on it's not just. It's comedy, but it's like, it's a historical spin. Like you can still learn something while doing it. So it's, it's always good to like learn while you're laughing. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's, it's, you, you mean, laughing is medicine, but if you're, if you're getting knowledge while like, this is like knowledge medicine. <laughs> but anyway, thank you again for watching. Um, please leave a like on the video. Um, turn my post notifications hit that subscribe button. Let me know what else you want. Drop it in the comment section. Have a great day. Uh, stay on the ground. I'm out. Peace.